water still comes from the rock. They were thirsty. Said Moses, smite the rock. Boom. I see your rock producing water for you in this year. Rock is a hard place. Rock is a little place. But guess what? When you smite it with the word, with the rod of the spirit, listen, it will produce water. May the hard areas of life produce refreshing for you. May it produce renewal for you. May it produce revival for you. May it produce every kindling for you. Water from the rock. You are welcome to a great moment in destiny. God is about to speak directly to you. And the message coming right up is crafted by heaven, not just to challenge you, but to align your destiny. As you embrace divine instruction, expect that God's word is bringing about revival, healing, restoration, and transformation to your entire life. With faith in your heart and great expectation, join me and receive God's word through his choice vessel, Good Heart Obi Ekweme. Luke 17, 11 to 19. And it came to pass as Jesus went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, they met him ten men that were lepers which stood afar off and they lifted up their voices. And they said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. <laughs> and when he saw them, he said unto them, Go, show yourselves unto the priest. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, say one of them. We have come back as one of them. We don't know where the rest are, but I've come back. You, you know, this is my bottom box. I don't wear it all the time. But, uh, but the Lord said to me, son, you've not been as grateful as you ought to. I said, forgive me, Lord. I'm, I'm going the other way now. Praise God. So I came with my Christmas cloth to say, God, I'm here. What betide me to think is my power. Or my ability to preach. No, sir. He is the doer. Yes. One of them. Kotokaya. So, Rodzik, we are the one amongst ten that came. It seems a 10% returns. I don't know where the nine are. But hear this. One of them, when he saw, I have seen, that he was healed. Okomanakata. Turn back and with a loud voice. Hello, somebody. Listen, listen, listen. Uh, uh, you're still quiet. Uh, 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 with a loud voice, he glorified God. Loud voice, loud voice, loud voice. You know, you see, you see, the danger is this. When you're in trouble, you raise a loud voice. Prayer. But when God has done it, you don't raise a loud voice. When you're broke, mercy. Single, mercy. Barren, mercy. Sick, mercy. But when God heals, you walk away. God forbid. So, with the same intensity, you prayed for God to give you here and give you what to pay. Once again, with a loud Everybody! 
he glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet doing what? giving him thanks and he was a Samaritan the least likely to come back came back no pedigree, no degree eh? but he realized ah, God has touched me God has healed me God has turned me around And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? It means, beloved, that Jesus is aware of the numbers he touched, of the numbers that were healed, the numbers that were delivered on GPPA. He's aware the numbers whose wombs opened up. He's aware. He said, Were there not ten? There is a complete number. He said, Where are the nine? Guess what? He inspects your praise. He's an inspector. He inspects your praise. Number two, he expects your praise. He has an expectation that the logic will not just sweep over what I've done and move on. Bamba, God forbid. No, sir. So this service were very deliberate. You know why shortly. Huh? We're very intentional to give him praise. Ah. And he said unto the one that came back, Arise, go thy way. Thy faith hath made thee get ready for wholeness. Get ready for more. You've heard me say over and over again that your thanks and praise, listen, is an application for more. Listen, if we praise God properly as we ought to, what we have received is not all he will give to you. Oh, you didn't hear me. Oh no, you, you, you're happy here? There are more territories. I'm seeing more lands. As far as you can see. But you praise him for now. <laughs> but assignment quickly. The wisdom of thanksgiving. Father, thank you for the gathering of your saints this hour. I beseech you to take a call of fire from the altar of heaven and on the lips and the tongues of clay of the seven sons that will come to your people with a word to strengthen, to encourage, to charge and challenge these your precious people online on site. Thank you for the joy to look into the word of life together as a family. Let light and illumination come forth to us and shatter every out of darkness. As you change lives, transform lives, and cause devils to be terrified, we vow that the glory and glory will be yours in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a big amen. Please be seated comfortably in God's wonderful presence. The wisdom of thanksgiving. In the course of the week, I believe I was led by the Holy Ghost to listen to a particular message. And the message so convicted me regarding the issue of gratitude and thanksgiving. I became very convicted by the Holy Ghost that I haven't exactly done too well in this regard of simply being grateful, being thankful to God. And I'm being vulnerable to you. You may not be where I am, but thanks, thanks be to your, <laughs> your being grateful. But you see, I, I come to see that it is human nature to easily, listen, human nature to easily forget the many mighty deeds of God in yesterday when we face a today's battle. Am I right? I am right. When you're faced with a battle or a giant today, such as Goliath, it is easy to forget David. And there was a point in time that the lion came to devour the, the sheep that God made you a shepherd over and God strengthened to tear the mouth of the, of the lion. Likewise, the bear is easy to forget. Because every giant that is preceding seems to be stronger than the previous giant. But David understood that there is a power in testifying and recounting and rehashing the victories of yesterday. If you're a child of God with a walk with God, it is true that there are battles and victories yesterday that you may easily forget today. So it's important for us to be deliberate to jar our mind and our thinking to remind ourselves where it is we're coming from. 
Look yourself in the mirror. This is not you five years ago, seven years ago, ten years ago, if you're sincere. Something has transformed. So what makes you think that God who has changed you so far is not able to transform you to the very end? He's called the Alpha and the Omega, by the way. He's the first and the last. Before God begins anything in time, he has completed in eternity. Hey, listen, listen, your, yeah, listen. Your, your work here is a, is a walk in the park. Why? He's concluded it to end well in the journey of life. Jeremiah 29, 11. The thoughts that God thinks of you are thoughts of good to give you a hope and a future and to bring you to what the Bible calls an expected end. There is an expected end by the Lord. Oh, say amen. You are going to end well in the journey of life. You are not a misfit of destiny. No, sir. No, sir. You and I, by the mercy and by the grace of God, as an apostolic house and prophetic company, we are going to end well in the journey of life. In spite of obstacles, in spite of hurdles. By the way, the obstacles before you, they will turn for you as stepping stones for the miraculous. Shout a big, big, big amen. That test is turning for a testimony. It's turning. It's turning. I know the economy is harsh, but listen, God is not restrained to the economy. Listen, no, the covenant is more powerful than the climate. Oh, yes. Ask Isaac in Genesis 26. The climate was dull. There was repression, depression. Uh, uh, what is it now? Famine and drought. But Isaac sowed in famine, and by the power of sowing in famine, listen, a seed broke the siege over them. Did you hear me? A seed, a seed, a seed broke the siege over them. What? He depended on the covenant and ignored the climate. Oh, you didn't hear me now? People are shrinking. People are dwindling. But you will be buying land and property. Your amen needs to be revived. People are Japan, but you're buying their property. Is that you I'm speaking to? Huh. I saw a family here last Sunday and they came from Canada. I said, what are you doing here? I said, we're here. I said, why are you here? I said, people are going. He said, no, no, there's something here. I said, he's coming. Others are going. What? I think he's seeing something here. Hey, saints, somebody is about to take over. Shout and believe in Amen. <laughs> God is not limited to the climate. No, he's a covenant keeping God. Irrespective of drought, he prospers. He says, in famine, you will laugh. Did you hear me? Job said, in famine, when men are crying, you will laugh. What odds, sir, am I? Will it be when the economy is tight that God is proving a point is now he's paying half a billion for a property. Debt free. Sweat free. Tears free. Pressure free. Nobody in this house has been under any kind of pressure. No. You don't come to talk being afraid. Two offering, three offering, four offering, offering for wood, offering for car, offering for petrol. No, sir. No, sir. Simple, time for giving, give, no pressure. But yet, paid by mercy, are you there? Paid by grace. It's a sign of what he's doing in your life. If you can believe him. Water still comes from the rock. Huh. Is that your Bible? Water still comes from the rock. They were thirsty. Said Moses, smite the rock. Boom. I see your rock producing water for you in this year. Rock is a hard place. Rock is a difficult place. But guess what? When you smite it with the word, with the rod of the spirit, listen, it will produce water. May the hard areas of life produce refreshing for you. Your amen is revival. Oh. May it produce renewal for you. May it produce revival for you. 
May it produce every kindling for you. Water from the rock. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. It's human nature to forget yesterday's victories because of today's battles. Honestly, this week, I, I had to repent to God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for forgetting the hard places of life between a rock and a hard place you brought me out of because I faced this giant called Goliath how can I forget how can I forget that six years ago I was confused not knowing what step to put to go where I only heard a word leave A to go to B I never knew where B was how can I forget the trauma I went through emotionally, psychologically? How can I forget the refusal, the rejection? How can I forget? How can I forget whatever it is that, that you brought me through till this day? And today we'll look back. You fought many battles for us. The sick became well. The blind saw. The deaf heard. The dumb spoke. How can you forget that when you were weak and cried out, he showed up. Can somebody shout, thank you, Jesus the doer of all that is good in our lives. We must pause and ponder because no matter what we're facing today, listen, beloved, it could have been worse. So, it's, 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 please believe God, it, it, Nigeria as it is could have been worse. We came through the past few months, no war, no crisis. Ah, it could have been worse. The economy in tight as the way it looks, it could have been worse. So we must always pause to ponder. To remind ourselves, in spite of the harsh environment, God has been kind. He has, he has, he has shielded you as a bulwark Amen. from the furnace, from the fire that the enemy designed to burn you. Yes, you were thrown into Nebuchadnezzar's fire. He said seven times, you were designed to burn. But somehow, there was a fourth man that insulated you from the fire. Insulated you from the fuel situation. Insulated you from the dollar to America. Insulated you. You're still walking, still talking, still living. As though you're a billionaire. How is God refreshing you? He's multiplying your five loaves and two fish to make you look more. Come on, come on. Thank you, what? Come on, Roger. Thank you, who? We don't look half our income. Sir, I don't look half my income. That is a very big man. He's a big man. Yeah, I'm a big man. It's all perception. What you see is what you get. You don't look half your income. You earn 100k per month and you look like this. It's a wonder. <laughs> you earn 75k a month. You have three children. They're in school. Ah, 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 ah. Thank you, Jesus. Fuel went up, you're still buying the fuel at your income. Seven five k per month. You come and you go, and you're still. Ah, 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 ah. Don't you see the miracle? Water, yay, is coming from the rock. How do you explain, sir, that we are on twenty seven radio stations? Eh? Radio stations. We pay commercial rates like Coca Cola, PF. We compete with them to pay for airtime. Yet. For years on ending, we have not, there's no blackout. We could have, no, sir. Water from the rock. Salary's being paid, water from the rock. Plants in local assemblies, Toronto, uh, uh, Makoni, Patakot, what am I saying? Whoa, water from the rock. <laughs> standing there, seven floors standing. Very intimidating. He tells you there's a God in Israel. The, the, the cement and the iron rod there, they're fearful. Yeah, water from the rock. I'm glad to tell you there is no bank roller here that pays the bill. No, sir. I don't, we don't have any big man that funds the church. No, sir. No, sir. God, through mere men like you and me, is at work. Your one dollar, your one naira is being multiplied. Yes, it's you are the one. But by through the hand of God. No one can say I did it. I gave 100 naira and the one. No, sir. God did it through you, through me. <laughs> what can I move people to sell house? 
to give to God. You didn't tell them, oh, they did it. For the love of Jesus Christ. They believe in the mandate. They sold house to bring to God's house. Nobody, nobody, no announcement go and say, no, no, no. Give two, you get 20. No, no sir, no, sir. When people are open to the Spirit, the Spirit will lead them and they will do well and they will receive the reward for doing well. Today we must thank him more. He chastised me and said, no son, you've not, you, you, you've not shown, you've not expressed the gratitude I want to see. I said, okay sir, this Sunday I will wear my immaculate white to show the devil I've come down to thank my father in heaven. I will roll on the floor. If I have to sweat, I'll sweat. Why? He's the doer. If we don't thank him, he won't move to the next level. A child that is grateful to the parents is provoking more. Do you have unthankful children? <laughs> if you do, you mark them secretly. You only pay school fees because of your, your, it's a commitment, but not with much excitement. But if any is thankful, they thank you for big skit, for lollipop, daddy, I'm grateful. Listen, you, you roll over, what does this boy want? I will do it for you. Why? Gratitude provokes more. Today we thank you. I'm telling you, you're in a good house. A house of miracles. A house of mercy and grace. Not a house of strength. I don't, I've never come here to brag. I can, I can, I can preach. I can, no, sir. We can fail, but it's helping this boy of God do strange things to his glory alone. So even I cannot even think of sharing. Why? This is the doing of God. It's marvelous in our eyes. Two hectares roundabout with a business. What odds? A family investment for five years they didn't sell, but last year they were hard to sell. We pray some kind of prayers. Oh, we change our prayer. Make them want to sell. Let them need money. They so wanted to sell, they gave a time. Give me you, you by June, I want money. Yeah, I said, that's right, that's my God there. He's walking there. Do you know Hold him in the neck. He's walking. When one who wants to sell is in a hurry, that means something is cooking somewhere. There's something scratching somebody somewhere. Yeah, scratching them, scratch, 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 scratch them. Not a bad prayer, it's a good prayer. When you know it's your own. Said, if you don't do by June, we're not. I said, okay, calm down. Before we're asking for you, you want to do. Okay, now okay, we'll give us time. They didn't believe we had the means. Why? Even to pay the monthly lease was by faith. Every month for the past five years. To go to, to, to believe God, believe, bang, 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 every month. He said, you buy this place, you're joking. I said, no, we're not joking. Our God is able. Try, try, try our God. And they made a good mistake to try our God. And by last Friday, we're fully out of any kind of debt. Fully. Discharge by mercy and by grace. So you now drive to GBC with a, a new level of uh, uh, you pack like you, you, you own it. Huh? It's not come and go. Shortly you see a video of how we're terrorized here on, for past few years. You see clips of what happened here on some Saturdays. Late night party. You know it's an event center. They have to make money now. You don't blame them. They're here to make money. You're only borrowing Sunday on Wednesday. But it was Kaya. 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 Drinking, smoking, partying, schmoozing on Saturday, sometimes at midnight, and there's church Sunday morning, seven. Then this man will stay back, sleep here, clean out, spray for spray effort, and they spray the blood. Effort is not enough to kill that one. You spray the blood. <laughs> so have some sanity on Sunday morning. Because if you, if you see what happened on Saturday, you may not come to church. You only say, ah, I'm a man of God, this is your church. It'd be club. But you didn't know. I'm only testifying now. We spread for them. We spread the blood. Demons, get out. Angels, you're welcome. Holy Ghost, move. Hey, can somebody shout? Somebody, some, somebody shout. Shout, shout to the glory of God. He says, my son, you're not grateful. You're not showing it. You're, you're, just, you're too, he said, eh, it's not, eh, come and do what God did now. Could you come and do what God did? You know, usually, 
to achieve this, sir, sir, usually a pastor will need to manipulate, coax, cajole, go to brother so and so, uh, 15 years uh, no, no, nobody. I have not knocked on any of your doors. For God's sake, no, sir. Why? I'm an employee. The employer pays the bills. <laughs> Do you know the wisdom of God? If it's today we or God has bought this place now and we're to buy a land to build, which is logical. We should have bought here first before daring to build. Am I correct? So that land was bought by faith four years ago in trust to God that he will do what I believe he will do, that one day we own this. So it was bought and built with the mind of this and extends a complex. That is something, that is crazy. That's, that's crazy. It's one thing to have the money in the world, but can you force an owner to say, ah, have your billions. You can't force me to say that. So the greatest miracle is to be willing to let go. May the ones holding your miracle, the ones holding your lifting, the ones on your plot and your lot, may they be willing to let go to you what belongs to you. Why? The heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord as the rivers, he turns them in your favor. Shout a big amen. I read in my Bible, he's a God who sets down, he sets down one to elevate another. Somebody on your throne right now as you praise God will be set down for you to be lifted where you belong. Is a curse and error for princes to walk and servants on the horseback. So we decree and declare this hour by the mercy and the grace of God. Every servant illegally sitting on the throne, the inheritance, the property, and the things that belong to the saints, they are dethroned and we are enthroned. Shout a believing amen like a thunder. Like a mighty thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 103, 1 to 2. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. All oh, 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 oh. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And forget not all his benefits. Today I want us to ask the Holy Spirit to help us to remember his benefits. The benefits of salvation are too numerous. Saved by the blood. Healed. Delivered from destruction. He blesses your bread and your water. Takes from you sickness, disease and infirmity. Sets your feet upon the rock to stay. Preserve you alive in the land of the living. You wouldn't know all the bullets and the javelins and the jujus and the doodos. The enemy shot at you in the realm of the spirit. But God shielded them. He said, when the, uh, shakabu, the enemy shall come against you, you raise a standard against them. Things we can't see, things we see. Can you shout, thank you, Jesus. Still alive in the game of life. Ecclesiastes 9 4 says, A living dog is better than a dead lion. A lion, whilst it's alive, is a king of the wild, but when he's dead, he's dead. But guess what? A dog alive has hope. To he that is joined to all living, there's hope. Is there breath in your nostrils? There is hope of a brighter future. Psalm 150 verse 6 Let everything that has breath, guess what? Praise in the Lord. Are you alive? Yes, you are. You're not in no mortuary. You are in the lost sanctuary. The sanctuary is a place of praise. A place to give him glory. Upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Obadiah 117. This is Zion. This is church. Not a mortuary. So they will come through the northern gate. They won't go through the same gate. No, sir. They will go through the southern gate. You are not returning back home the way came. Oh. Your amen leave you at the back. Reviver. 
Let me say it again. You are not permitted to return back to your homes the same way you came to this service. Shut up again. Forget not means to remember. What you don't forget, you remember. Am I correct? It is so. It is so. The children of Israel were very interesting people. They were people who struggled to achieve this principle of remembering what God did yesterday as he faced a present battle today. They lamented and cried. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. You see, as much as we can laugh at them, I dare say even under the New Testament, you and I are not too far from them. It's only that we may not complain physically, obviously, but sometimes in your heart you want, mm, 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 mm. Greater open door. Mm -hmm. There's your cool. Greater <laughs> open door. <laughs> Oga, September, it's finishing. Three months. <laughs> Greater open door. Uh, man, yeah. We fail to understand that one day with the Lord is as a thousand years with men. One day, one thousand. What would take men a thousand years to compress? One day one day, one day of an encounter, Kupalia, one day of his visit, may this be your one day. What is one day? 24 or 9, 23. What is 24? Witness of 24 elders. Witness of the 12 apostles Lamb times two. What? May this day be your one day of divine visitation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bible declares in Philemon 1 6 that the communication of thy faith may become effectual by what? The acknowledging of every good thing which is in you that is in Christ. So we acknowledge every good thing that is in us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, can you for two, three, acknowledge the good things in you? He's in me. Christ in me, the hope of glory. The greater one lives in me. The healer is in me. The teacher is in me. The comforter, the helper, the strengthener, the strong one is in me. I acknowledge the gifts of the Spirit in me. I acknowledge by so doing, those good things are communicated, they're expressed in reality. Thank you. Look at what Bible says about the children of Israel. Psalm 78, um, 10 to 12 says, They kept not the covenant of God and refused to walk in his law and forgot. That's KJV. Forgot. They forgot. <laughs> they forgot. May we not forget. They forgot his works and his wonders that he had showed them. Marvelous things did he in the sight of their fathers in the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. Look at Psalm 78. 78, 40, 42. It says, How oft did they provoke him in the wilderness and grieve him in the desert? That's not a portion in Jesus' name. Yea, they turned back and tempted God. Guess what? And they limited the Holy One of Israel. Is that so? Yes, so. They remembered not his hand. We remember his hand today, oh. We are remembering his hand today. Let our mind be reconfigured. Nobody's powerful here. There's only one powerful, almighty God. There may be mighty, mighty troublemakers, but the only one almighty one. Eh? They remember not his hand, nor the day when he delivered them from their enemy. We remember once upon a time. We struggled to get here ready for something, but, but now, Lord, you've given us a rest. Roundabout. We've come to return the praise. Abba, Abba, Abba. Oh, God, it's God, though. But David, remember, in 1 Samuel 17, note this down, from verse 34 to 36. 1 Samuel 17, 34 to 36. David recounted what I shared earlier, that when the lion came, the Lord helped me. I taught him. The bear came. The Lord helped me. He said, he said, so who are you all, all, all uncircumcised Philistine before the Lord? He said, likewise, same God who helped me will help me to tear you down. So we must remind ourselves of yesterday's what? Testimonies. Faithful is he who has called you, who also will do it. First, 
Thessalonians 5 24 I believe it is faithful is he who has called you who also will do it the caller is what the backer your home will not go down in the rocks your business will not go down in the rocks hallelujah your health will not go down the drain Jesus is in our boats he's in our car he's on the plane it won't drop from 33 kilometers no it won't drop the boat won't sink the car won't explode why Jesus is in my boat the caller is the keeper in the back there is an invisible wall around about you even Satan saw Job and said ah Job I can see that the hand of the Lord surrounds you you see we may not see his wall of fire but the wall of fire is seen by the enemy Zechariah 2 5 says the Lord will be the glory in the midst of Rajik and it will be the wall of fire round about round about because it's round about Bible says touch not the Lord's anointed do his self no harm Psalm 105 15 they say touch not seal upon your life can you lay your right hand on your head touch not touch not oh, open your mouth for 10 seconds pray in the Holy Ghost by the blood touch not touch not touch not fear touch not anxiety touch not death touch not sickness touch not open your mouth open your mouth Ekaga delays, touch not from this prophetic service, touch not delays are over in the name of Jesus touch not, touch not Father thank you touch not saints do you know that unthankfulness and ingratitude, listen carefully is one of the spirits of this age we live in now yes sir, because people have this this very what sided idea of, of, of entitlement. I'm entitled for this. I'm entitled for breakthrough. Is that right? I'm entitled to be married. I'm handsome. I'm good looking. Is that right? There are many more who are better looking than you, but not married. <laughs> Some have seven degrees. They don't have, any, they don't have any job. So what makes you think you are entitled outside Christ? You are not entitled. If anything good comes away, it's by grace and mercy. Anything. Any, I mean anything. We deserve death outside Christ. Huh? But we, we, we read a testimony of Apostle Paul. Says, says, I am what I am by the grace of God. So don't say tomorrow we go here and go there. You have that power. One nation. Can you wake yourself up from, from, from sleep? No, sir. Your alarm cannot wake you up. No, sir. Take your alarm to much where you wake up on Kujo. He's gone. He's gone. If you sleep, he sustained you. You are work, give him glory. Because many slept, many did not wake up. So what makes you feel you are entitled for breakthrough? You are not entitled except by mercy and by grace. That makes you grateful and thankful. So I'm entitled to have a big church. I'm an apostle. Is that right? There are many popes who are not. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> it's not tied to mercy and grace have the business acumen to be a billionaire is that right is acumen right time and chance happens to them all there is a God factor there is the extra of God that gives you extra ordinary result it's, it's the extra listen is the extra of God on your life that brings result men can't explain May God do something in your life in the next three months of the year that your neighbors and your environment cannot explain. All they say, this is the finger of God. GBEC is the word, finger of God. The prepared place word is the finger. In Nigeria today, it's God's finger. Number five. Core value is what? The spirit of what? We must punish the devil. The spirit of excess. Core value is a core value. It's a core value. Because it's all here as it was five years, it's not that we're crazy. Why do you spend what you have not yet quite fully taken over? But when you take over, you know, every pin you pay there is your own. One little glass is your own. 
a chair is your home. Light bulb is your home. <laughs> we are going somewhere with the Lord. And the prepared place, listen, write it down. It will be finished quicker than you imagine. Right, right, write it down today. I, see, it will be finished quicker than you imagine. Just like God paid for this place quicker than we imagined. We're told to pay a chunk for this place. Doc, we're here. They didn't believe we could pay it. And we couldn't pay it. <laughs> they were right. That's the honest way. I couldn't pay it. But I was talking for God. Hey, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God. I couldn't pay it. You're struggling to pay five million for one monthly rent here. They know you're struggling. It's by faith. The last day of your just integrity, just pay, did you pay them? We don't, owe, we don't owe in our ministry. Just pay them. You're just chicken there. They know we're struggling by faith. They want to buy? You buy? They didn't believe us. But we knew the God who sent us on assignment. Why? He is the possessor of the heavens and the earth. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. And they that dwell therein. Psalm 2 for verse 1. He can change the of all from you to me if he likes. You don't believe it? I believe it, sir. Where I live, that's how he changed from, from them to me. You know the story. Change to me, my family. The cattle upon the thousand is there is. You, know, you, you just don't believe it. Just somebody but try him. <laughs> they said, pay this, then in 10 months you stagger. Boom, 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 boom. They were shocked, we were out quickly. Say, you guys are gone, we're gone. Bye. Right, we're, we're out of here. We don't enjoy this own business, man. We don't, we don't, we don't believe in it. <laughs> ah, can you lift your hands to God and thank Him? My, my father, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that you look upon us. Few many years ago, you've helped us to become a company. Only you, Lord. Only you, Lord. Children, grandchildren. Thank you, Lord. Men have grown in their business, in their ministries. Strong ministry teams have arisen here. Strong teachers, amazing pastors, amazing prophetic gifts we see and hear. Oh Lord, we well, thank you. Men have been transformed. Can you give him praise and glory? We're in a good house. We're under a good cover. We're not alive because we're strong. No, sir. Mercy kept us. Father, accept our thanksgiving in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 2 says, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, hear this, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents. Guess what? Unthankful and unholy. So, <coughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mercy on me, Lord. So, unthankfulness is ranked in the same verse as unholiness. Ah. Please, can we determine, please, 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 as I am trusting the Lord, to, to strive to be more grateful. It says, count your blessings. Name them one by one. It will surprise you pleasantly what God has done. Single sister, you're qualified for marriage. Don't murmur. You're qualified on your way to marriage. There are those who are not even there at all. Huh? Find a reason to return to and say, Baba, you've done well. I know some things I am still expecting, but honestly, you've done well, Lord. Well, <sighs> Write down these two statements, and they're almost there. God loves, and God is drawn to a truly grateful and thankful heart. May we be the one that came back. God loves and God is drawn to a truly grateful and thankful heart. Number two, God is not pleased with ungrateful and unthankful hearts. One of my mentors says, and I've come to accept that for a long time, he says, to take God for granted 
is to become grounded. May we not take our God for granted. Let's we become grounded. Shout mercy Lord. Mercy Lord. Let me close my thoughts with these three things because it's important. So when we dance, you know why? When we thank the Lord, and we are grateful, for many reasons, by the way, many things happen, but I want to highlight three. Number one, God preserves the blessings upon your life. Say we preserve. Say we preserve. Yeah. So what he gave is preserved. Malachi 2, 1 to 2. Preserved. Number two, when we praise and thank him, he multiplies our blessings. Say we mean multiply. Jesus gave thanks over five loaves, two fish. The power of limitation was broken. And then he fed multiples on that day. He gave thanks and then the rest was history. It's multiplied. But thirdly, it's where I want to emphasize, and I've been doing so. When we do thank the Lord as we will do next few minutes, he perfects our blessings. Ten were healed. One came back. And one was not just healed, his healing was perfected. Am I correct? Hmm. James 1.17 Every good and what? Perfect gift. Alright. Comes from who? From God. In whom there is no shadow of turning nor variableness. Hear me real good. If you want to move a good gift God gave you from good to becoming perfect, what do you do? Thank you. Thank him. As you thank him for what you have, he will perfect it. And this morning, as we praise him, he will preserve the blessing. He will multiply the blessing. But he will also perfect the blessing in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You have just experienced the preaching and teaching ministry of Goodheart Obi Ekweme. Lead Pastor of Revival House of Glory International Church, Rajik, and the Apostolic Leader of the Horn of Revival Ministry, HORM, a global outreach ministry mandated to carry the torch of revival across cities and nations. If you would like to ask a question, share your prayer request or testimony, or get more messages or books from Goodheart, please call or text 805 223 4444 or email info at rogic.org. Also, download the Horn of Revival Ministry app on Google Play or Apple Store to connect with a variety of free quality resources, including Rogic Radio and our refreshing daily devotions to take you higher in life. Keep hearing the Word of God. It will produce intimacy with His Spirit for uncommon encounters on the earth.